To get to the crop tool in Photoshop, you want to go to the fifth tool down and then left click in here. Now, if you don't see this available, you can right click and it'll be the very top one. Once you've got yourself the crop tool selected, you will notice, first of all, you will have this border on your image. You can make the height of it much more smaller, or you can reduce both of them at the same time by dragging the corners. And as you can see, we now have this image, which we can easily crop to only focus on the person. This tool has some really important options right at the top. So we're going to start on the very first one, which is the ratio and resolution. So the first one allows you to set a specific or custom ratio. For example, if you wanted a one by one square, you can just set it to this right here. And what this will do is it will lock in the aspect ratio. So no matter how hard you try to change the height, it will lock it in and it will just maintain the ratio of it. We have the ratio and we have the resolution. So this is if you wanted to be more specific with your image, you can set it to the resolution and you will have the option for the width and the height, or you can just set it to a specific resolution and it will lock it in at that aspect ratio. So first of all, you would simply select yourself pixel slash inch or pixel slash centimeter. So let's say for example, we wanted this to be a thousand pixels. We would just simply type it in here and this will make it a thousand times a thousand. Now let's say that you had a specific measurement in mind and you wanted it something like 1280 times 720 right in here. You would type in the width and the height in these two boxes right here. You can also click on the clear button right here and this will just reset it back to normal. And if you wanted to, you can just set it on the original ratio and that will reset it back to normal. All you have to do now is crop this image down to what you prefer. And you also want to make sure that you have this button ticked, which will say delete cropped pixels. What this will basically do is it will delete anything outside of this box. The very last three options, which is reset, cancel and apply. And you want to go ahead and click on the tick icon to apply the changes. And there you go. So as you can see, we have now cropped this image down. And if you unlock this to be a layer and press control and T, you can now see that this is a standalone image and we've fully cropped it down. And that is pretty much it. That's how you crop an image in Photoshop.